Hello, this is Doug. Today is January 25th, 2017. And in this video, I wanna show you a really cool new view that we just added to Price Jack. This is called the Listing Performance View. It is the next version of our D-List Poor Performers View, but it's a lot more powerful. And in this video, I wanna show you the differences and how you can use it to make sure that you have uh, listings that are performing really well. You can find the ones that work well, list more of those, and then delete the ones that aren't working, aren't making sales, and are just costing you insertion fees. So let's get started. The, to get to this page, you go to Current Listings and then Listing Performance. And you'll see here all of your listings. I'm on a test account here. It only has 21 listings. But even if you have tens or hundreds of thousands of listings, this view will work and it's really fast. Our old uh, D-List Poor Performers page was slow. This one will load very quickly. And it lets you sort by these different columns. So this is how you can use it to find things that don't work well. And let me show you how that works. Really straightforward, you can click on a column header and sort it by that field. So here's my most recently created items. Uh, and here are my least recently created listings. I'm sorry, I got that flipped. This is my, my most recent. Click it again, now my least recent. Um, so that's really cool, very straightforward, but I wanna show you, you can actually sort by multiple columns at the same time. And the way that works is you have a primary sort order and then you have another header that breaks the ties. Now the first column that you click will be the tiebreaker. So I wanna show you, let's say I wanna see all my items that have never sold and I want the ones that are even older to be above the ones that are newer. The idea here is anything that hasn't made a sale and is a really old listings, I, I wanna end that because it's just costing me insertion fees. So first I click on listing created and I get my older listings on the top. So let me do that. And you can see here I've got it so that my oldest listings are now on top and then my newer listings uh, fall towards the bottom. And now that's going to be my tiebreaker because I've got that set up here. But my primary one, I want to be quantity sold. So let me click on that. And now I've got the ones with the fewest quantity sold on top and then the ones with the higher quantity sold on the bottom. And again, I don't have any sales on this test account, but um, you can see how it would work. And so now this is probably my worst performing listing. And I want to click on these and I can delist them exactly the same way as you used to do on the D-List Poor Performers page. This is really powerful. It's going to let you uh, slice and dice your listings, find the ones that aren't working well, and them. You also now have the standard filters up here. And once you find a order that works really well for you, you can just bookmark the page. Everything's stored in the URL here. So you can bookmark it and then come back to it later without having to do all the clicking to try to find that view again. So I really recommend that you find a view that works well for you, come back to it once a week or once every two weeks, and end the listings that aren't working out for you. Um, if you do that, and then at the same time you add new listings, you'll make sure you've always got fresh items that are selling well. Another thing you might want to notice is that you can limit the number of rows on the page. So maybe you decide every week you're going to list 100 new items and delist your worst 100 items. Well, then I recommend you start out by putting in 100 here and then arrange the sorting the way you like, and then you can simply click this checkbox to delist your worst 100 according to the sort order that you've set up. So that is the new performance view. Uh, you can also still go to D-List Poor Performers link here, and that'll bring you back to a view that we've already got sorted in a way that'll put your worst performers on top. I think it's going to help you find items that aren't working out, end them, and cut your expenses so that you make sure you have really good listings online at any time. Let us know, what else do you wanna sort by? We've done a lot of work to make this sorting work and we can add new columns here. We can also put some sorting into the other tables. Let me know in Facebook or in support what you wanna see and we'll add that next. Thanks for using PriceJack.